Hi, and welcome to another intro video for Visual Studio Code. Today we're going to cover customizing VS Code, including settings, themes, file icons, and more. We all know how important themes are. After all, we stare at our editor a lot, so we want to make sure it's pretty and can change easily if we want. Um, we open the command palette and type theme. You go to color theme. You can easily preview the different themes by just going up and down with the arrows. So we can go quiet light, red, whatever you want. Maybe you're not finding what you want. Go find more in the marketplace. And there's a hundreds and hundreds of extensions you can choose from to bring a theme into Visual Studio Code. Um, so I'm going to choose color theme. You can go with the light version of Visual Studio Code. Maybe I'm feeling more light than dark today. That's great. Now, what are file icon themes, you ask? Well, file icons are these little things next to the file or directory names here. See the blue folders or some of these down here that indicate what type of file. So we shipped a few months with those a few month a few months ago for with those in Visual Studio Code. And you can change them here by typing file icon in the command palette, hitting enter. And notice as I go up and down, I can choose, hey, I don't even want file icons. Just give me the plain old thing that I had before. That's great. Go to minimal, just tells the difference between directories and folders. Um, SETI or VS Code grade icons. And just like with color themes, you can also see different icon themes. Um, again, about a, a dozen or so of those different file icon themes that you can install. Now themes are one thing, um, but we also want to have good uh, key bindings. So Visual Studio Code has shipped with uh, keyboard shortcuts for many, many different commands. And we can go in here and type keyboard. You can see a reference of all of those um, by doing this keyboard shortcuts reference. This will take you to a PDF file. You can download and print off, whatever you want to do. We can also go in here and edit our key bindings. So um, I open this key bindings file here. On the right is the ones that I've created. On the left are the default ones. Um, so this command R, I can easily change that to, um, we can say command T, save, and then when I do command T, it will refresh the editor. So I actually do like command R, so I'm going to keep it that way. Um, but on the right, you override the ones on the left, which were your default ones. Now, you, maybe you came from a different editor, and you don't want to have to go through and figure out the mapping between, oh, what was Sublime Text's, how did that work, and how does it match to a command name in Visual Studio Code? So what we did is we actually created these key maps for you. So over here, we've got Vim, Sublime Text, IntelliJ, Atom, Visual Studio. So popular key maps um, that you can install for your own use. Um, and they, if we click here on the Sublime one, close these guys, give us a little more room. You can actually see these are all the different keyboard shortcuts available. So some pretty popular ones um, that can make life easier, including uh, sorting, moving files, uh, moving lines up and down. Um, it's, it's all available here with just a click of an install um, to bring this extension in. You don't have to relearn all of those key bindings. You can just bring it from an editor you used before. Um, so that's, that wraps up key bindings. Now let's go to settings. So you'd expect there's there's a whole bunch of settings we can do here. Um, so similar layout is keyboard shortcuts. On the left here is the default, and on the right are the the my my own customized settings that I set. And we have some search capabilities here. So if we type font size, you can see it filters that down. So you can search here to try to find the right ones. And then if you click this um, edit, we can replace here. And we're gonna say Let's go with 16, so the little pencil icon. That will actually bring it, um, we can say after delay, that will bring it over here to the right side. Um, and then this one's pretty cool. This is actually um, language specific settings. So if you want to say, hey, for markdown, um, I actually don't want to see any of the quick suggestions. So let me show you what that is. If we change this to true, and then we go to our readme, we're going to say, hello world and notice show shows up there because we're matching the W. Uh, maybe that's annoying to you. Maybe that you don't want to see that. Well you can actually go in here and say false um, and then if we open the readme again and we type hello world notice it's not showing up. So you can do that. It's pretty easy to set up. Open the command palette. Do language specific. 
hit enter, choose markdown, and it will add it right there. So I already have it, so that's great. Um, you can do other things, say you want the sidebar to be on the left, you can save that there, and say you want, um, may, notice I don't have a status bar, that's because that was a setting I chose, so you can do true or false there. So lots of different customizations to make Visual Studio Code um, uh, work for you and, and really be the type of editor that you like to look at and you like to use. You can change key bindings, settings, themes, um, and themes you can change color themes or file icon themes. So thanks for um, checking this out today. You can find more on the documentation and if you have questions feel free to ping us on Twitter at the at code handle. Thank you.